Okay, hi guys. So if you did not already know, today is Super Tuesday. Now, in this episode, we're going to actually just go over all of the results from, we have primaries, we have polls, we have um, exactly Joe Biden's approval rating or how unpopular is he or uh, how popular he is. Let's get right into it. Facts over facts over tracks is a mess, spitting slow, spitting fast. I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last, but I don't know if that can erase all the past. So because of the fact that today is actually Super Tuesday, we actually have so many elections coming up, or I would say primaries coming up. We have Alabama, Alaska, Virginia, and Utah. So we have so many different primaries coming up today. And we're going to just go through all of the polls that we already went through. Um, America, American CMO, which is the presidential primaries, or Kansas, California, Colorado, Iowa, Maine, Massachusetts, Minnesota, North Dakota, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont. Now, according to the Morning Consult, um, they actually published their polls on March 1st through March 3rd. And they had 6,334 people actually respond to the poll. And actually, Biden is up one point on Trump. But that is the only poll that we have to this day that shows Joe Biden ahead of Trump. All of the other polls, we have YouGov poll, plus four. We have, in, we have Tip Insights, even. We have Issues and Insights, which is Tip Insights. This was on March 28th. Um, Biden up one. We have iPos from Reuters, we have Dead Even, we have the college of the New York Times slash Siena College, up, uh, Trump's up six. And then again, they did it on, on February 25th, up six. And then um, they have um, the New York Times slash Siena College, they have Haley up nine. And then they see the New York Times slash Siena College, this was on February 25th through the 28th, um, Haley is up 10. But then after that, Trump up four, Trump up five, um, Trump up two, Trump up three, Trump up six, Trump up four, Trump up two, Trump up five, Trump up six. So all of the other polls, according to um, projects.538.com, so the 538 project, it's showing that Trump is up six, up to four, up, like I just said. This is a crazy thing because now we can see that Trump is having more of approval ratings or more popularity than Joe Biden. And this is only according to the polls. According to 2016, we can see that according to every single metric, Hillary Clinton was supposed to win and she obviously never did. And that was for good. That was for good, obviously. But we can see how unpopular or how popular Joe Biden actually is. If we actually look at his approval rating, as soon as he stepped into office, 53.1% um, approve of um, the president, and this was on January 26, and then 31.4% disapprove. But then, as soon as the Afghanistan, the really, really unpopular Afghanistan withdrawal took place, 47% disapprove of him and 46% approve of him. Fast forward to um, July 13 of 2022. 55% disapprove of him, 37.9% disapprove. Then we can go over to March 4th, which was just a few days ago, and we can actually see that 56.2% disapprove of him, this is Joe Biden, and 38.2% approve of him. Now, how pop, how um how about if we look up Trump? How how about that? So, Donald Trump in 2017 to 2022, we can see that Trump's approval rating was actually at 42.5%, and his disapproval rating was at 53.4%. His dis so this is actually this approval disapproval rating is actually higher than Trump was in 2021. So if we look back, we can actually see that the disapproval rating actually m impacted the election because you know if you're not popular, then you cannot get the votes. Um, Obviously, Trump lost the election in 2016, but we can see that Joe Biden is not popular whatsoever either. But we can actually see the results so far. So Trump actually has 270 delegates so far, or 273. He just needs 1,215. Obviously, after Super Tuesday, we're going to see exactly what happens after that. But Nikki Haley so far only has 43. Um, we can see that the key races for Super Tuesday would be Virginia, 
Colorado, Texas, Alabama, California, and Massachusetts. These are the six that he should be really looking at. Um, and that's on the GOP side, of course. But then on the Democratic side, Joe Biden has 206 delegates. Two delegates are uncommitted, which will go to Joe Biden. They will come home. Um, obviously, they're looking at the same exact time. Um, I mean, they're looking at the same exact um, races, obviously. Um, and then the delegates that Joe Biden needs is only 1,969. So the Democrat delegates are actually less. Um, 1,383 Democrat delegates are still up for grabs. Obviously, Joe Biden is going to get it um, because Dean Phillips is not going to get it. Maureen Williamson, which is just a, um, a witch, is not going to get it either. She likes doing her little spells and potions. No, no, we're not going to do any of that in America. Um, but so far, so good. I would say that Trump has a really, really good chance of actually getting in. We can see that... Um, a lot of the a lot of the races obviously are already concluded. We can see that Iowa Republican presidential caucus. This was on January 15. Trump won. Um, we can see the Iowa won. Trump won. Nevada um, Democratic. Well, the Nevada presidential primary for Republicans did not take place yet. But then on the Democratic side, it did take place, and Joe Biden actually got 26 or 36, I should say. South Carolina, Joe Biden won 65 delegates. Um, Nevada Pre Republican Caucus, 26. Virgin Islands, Trump won four. Um, South Carolina, Trump won 50. So we can see here, at the average in the National Republican primary polls, we can see that Trump is up 77%, and then Haley is only up 15%. So obviously, Trump, according to every single metric, will get the nomination. There's no way that he's not going to get the nomination. Um, obviously... All of the other candidates have since stepped down. Iowa, Trump won. New Hampshire, Trump won. Nevada, um, Trump is actually not on the ballot, but Nikki Haley only got 30%. Nevada, Trump won by 99%. Virgin Islands, um, Trump won 42, I mean 74.2%. Nikki Haley, at the same time, only won 25%. South Carolina, Trump won 59%. Michigan, Trump won 68%. Um, in the Michigan caucus, Trump won 97%. Idaho, Trump won 84%. Um, Missouri is not yet um, cast their votes. Washington, D.C., Nikki Haley actually won by 62%. She won the swamp. Um, North Dakota actually won. Uh, Trump actually won 84%. Totals as of March, um, Trump has 63% of the um of the primary while Nikki Healy only has 31%. Obviously this is only as of March 4th. Um but there's um 1,500,000 people already voted for Trump over 700,000 for Nikki Healy. So there's big, there's a big difference here. Super Tuesday we're waiting for like I said Alabama, Alaska, Air Kansas, California, Colorado, Maine, Massachusetts, Minnesota, North Dakota, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, and Virginia. On March 6th, we're waiting for American Samana. Um, obviously, it might be coming through to actually allow Joe Biden to get that primary because it's more of a Democratic state. We can look at March 12th, which we will be looking at Georgia, Hawaii, Minnesota, I mean, uh, Mississippi, and Washington. Um, in March 15, we're looking at the Northern Morenos. Um, March 16, we're looking at Guam. Uh, March 19, we're looking at Arizona, Florida, Illinois, K Kansas, Ohio. March 23rd, we're looking at Louisiana. April 2nd, we're looking at Connecticut, Delaware, New York, Rhode Island, Wisconsin. April 16, we're looking at Wyoming. April 21st, it's going to be Puerto Rico. Um, April 23rd, we're looking at Pennsylvania. May 7th, we're looking at Indiana. March uh, May 14th, we're looking at Maryland, Nebraska. Um, Nebraska, West Virginia. On May 21st, we're looking at Kentucky and Oregon. June 4th is actually the last day that all of the primaries are going to be taking place, and that's on um, Montana, New Jersey, New Mexico, South Dakota. Now, that's going to leave up for grabs 2,429 primary or delegates that you can actually achieve. Um, obviously, there's a lot of people that have since been withdrawn. Ryan Berkeley has withdrawn Ron DeSantis, Vivek Wamaswamy, and Asa Hutchinson. Trump won, and he wasn't even on the ballot. So obviously, we know who that will go on to.
um, because if they wanted to vote for Nikki Haley, nobody else is even an option, they would have just voted for Nikki Haley. Um, 55,000 people would want Trump instead of the 24,000 that wanted Nikki Haley. So yeah, so that's it as of today. We're going to be looking at this later on today to actually see all of the results from these primaries, and it will come back to you tomorrow. It's a very, very interesting time. Um, things are just heating up in this election. I mean, if you think that it's even close to over, after Super Tuesday, if, if Nikki Haley still has just won Washington, she's going. she still has money in the bank. She has about $14 million left in the bank. So if she has, still has money, then she's still going to keep going. So with that being said, I will update you guys whenever I do have updates. Like I said, I will come back to you guys tomorrow as soon as I know all of the results from all of these primaries. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for listening. And I hope they have a great rest of your day. Bye.